Welcome, General, to the nation of Liberia. Today we will begin the great conquest of all of Africa. Well, hello there, guys. You may be asking yourself, what in the world is Agrippa doing in Liberia? Well, I figured it would be a fun idea to play Making History the Great War, uh, actually a game I'm a huge fan of, and try to bring Liberia... Uh, to glory. Of course, for those of you that don't know, Liberia is probably the most dysfunctional country in the entire world. Um, it is on the western coast of Africa, and essentially it is constantly at war, constantly internal conflicts, people die all the time, and we have a single region to work with, nothing else. We border Ivory Coast as well as Sierra Leone and uh, Guinea-Bissau. Um, I think it's now called just Guinea. I'm not sure about that. Somebody might want to correct me on that. Uh, but what we're going to try to do is turn Liberia into a functioning nation. Now, this is going to be a lot easier said than done. As you can see, we have close to no resources. All we're getting here is grain. So it should be inter interesting to see how this is even going to go, guys. Um, I want to take a look at our stability. Our stability is normal. And let's just take a quick look here at our military does look like we have low readiness. We've got uh, some light cavalry, that sort of thing. In fact, we, our army is right here. Um, but perhaps we could consider going to war. I'm not really sure where I want to lead the country yet. Uh, I want to see our political standing. Sorry, that's the wrong political button, our government standing. And as you can see, we are a minor nation, an independent state, a constitutional republic here, and it doesn't look like anybody really wants any sort of change. Our religion is, of course, Protestant, um, and in general, we seem to be doing our best. Now, I think the first thing we need to research, guys, is going to be either interchangeable parts or oil drilling. Um, I'm not actually sure if we have any oil drilling, so this could either work out very well or not well at all. As you guys see, we're playing the modern day mod. So we're playing with nations all in the date in the modern world, essentially. Um, um, everything from uh, Ukraine, of course, we've got over here, uh, to the Czech Republic, etc. A lot of interesting nations. So to see if we could succeed in Liberia will be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our research screen. We've already done that. What about our production screen? Okay, I'm going to try to see if we can build up the infrastructure. Uh, I want to see if we can start building some unpaved roads. I mean, we need some movement over here, and of course, we've got our men going to work already. Uh, our only city, actually, doesn't look like we have any factories currently, but Monrovia is, of course, our capital, um, and we want to do everything we can to promote Monrovia. Uh, so I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can start building maybe just a fishery here. Um, we really do need something to make money off of. Right now, our nation is totally useless. Um, I think we're actually number 72 in the world. Right now we are actually not trading with anybody, uh, but I will soon start trading with some of these powers. Algeria looks interesting for sure, um, and this is actually, we're actually selling. I could list an, a market offer, but we don't really have anything to give to offer the world yet. So let's end the turn and see what happens. Glorious Liberia, we will take over the world and kill all the traitors who try to stop us. We will always, always be the best from the beginning to the end. Trust me, guys, we're going to do something here. I'm thinking that we might need to go to war um, with uh, not Guinea, but uh, the, 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 excuse me, the country directly to our north. Um, and it might be a protracted war, a long one, but I think that there's no way we're going to be able to make it as a nation unless we can take some of these countries close by to us. Uh, let's just hope that they don't have any ill intentions. All right, guys. Now, this is interesting. A few messages have popped up. None that really concern us. And as you can see, our unpaved roads are still being built. Um, right now, this is the only military unit we have. And I'm not entirely sure if I want to purchase any more real military units. But just considering the fact that we are um, really thinking about possibly going to war, I'm going to go ahead and put partial mobilization so that our men will basically begin building some units. Uh, it doesn't look like we actually have the power to build anything at this point. Like I said, we are a very poor country. Uh, uh, but we need to just wait for time to continue to improve our economy, hopefully, uh, with the factory, etc. We're going to have to see if it works, though, guys. All right, guys, I want to take a quick look at our government itself. In fact, I want to look at our economy here. Um, and as you can see, our net balance is minus four. Uh, at this moment, we're really not making anything except for essentially a little bit of food. And we're really going to need to improve things in this country for anything to happen. Uh, we are receiving aid from the American Empire. It's funny that it's referred to as the American Empire, even in the modern day mod. And we really do need to try to focus on getting more and more um, American aid if possible. Um, at this point, all we can really do is 
focus on building up this military um, and hopefully attack the enemy army over here in the north um, in Sierra Leone. It looks like all they have is two infantry units, so they do look ripe for an attack. Uh, but first, I want to make sure that we get at least one more military unit here. Um, and until we can build one, we're really kind of out of luck. There's really no movement for us uh, in this particular region. So we're going to go ahead and just wait for that to occur. Um, we are still building. And in fact, I might even build some, uh, war some trench works or a fortress before I do anything else. Also, some open field farms wouldn't be such a bad idea. Um, although we do currently have a project going on, and those are our unpaved roads, which we desperately need in a jungle setting like Liberia itself. Wonderful, wonderful Liberia. We will succeed and destroy the rest of the world. Actually, we will try to be fairly peaceful. We're going to try to make, I think, well, we'll see how this works, but after all the wars and bloodshed and killing, if that ever happens, I think I really want to become the Switzerland of Africa. In other words, we want to make this an amazing economy, despite not having a great degree of natural resources, and I think we can do that with just a little bit of work. Uh, but we're going to have to really focus, because there are a lot of problems in Liberia. There are constant revolutions, etc. The Greeks extend territorial claims on the historical Greek areas of Asia Minor. Interesting. This might actually lead to a war. And look at this. Argentina declared war on Paraguay. This is one of the things I love about this game. Um, just all the crazy things that can occur. And that's one of them. We just had Argentina declare war on Paraguay. Absolutely amazing. Not really much for us to do here except wait for our roads to be completed, of course. Uh, and that's going to make movement in our country much easier than before. We will make the greatest transportation system we have ever seen on this side of the world which is not very good but it's going to be good you will see and uh, as you can see China just ended China actually I believe I love the flag they have their original communist flag um, not the one you see today which is still technically a communist flag but the original Maoist flag uh, let's take a look over here and there it is uh, five stars, or excuse me, three stars, uh, but the one on top is the one I'm talking about with the hammer and sickle, and these Chinese characters underneath it. If anybody that can read Chinese can tell us what that means, that would be awesome. Uh, maybe we will try trading with the Chinese. Uh, this is definitely a possibility. Of course, before we start trading, we need some natural resources, and that's why we are trying to research interchangeable parts. Now, next turn, we should be able to unlock our wonderful unpaved roads, which would be the greatest thing Liberia has built ever, really, and it really is. Um, so we're going to have a road system in the country and at that point i'm gonna see what we do maybe open fields uh, i'm not really sure but we probably should go with, for, with open fields because we right now our only resource is our food so we've got to do that an argentine nationalist movement has seized power in a coup with the help of an anti-democratic military clique the nacionalistas are both militaristic and authoritarian they might also be expansionist wow so the argentines have been uh basically uh destroyed well not destroyed, uh, but they've created a new Republic of Argentina against Argentina itself. Um, support for democracy has increased within the government of Liberia. This is a problem. Although I do believe we are already a democracy, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or a republic in any case. Um, so we're going to see here. Hey, historical gamer, how you doing, my friend? Um, all right, so uh, let's take a look over here. Yes, it's 5 a.m. indeed. Not everybody has hours like me. I'm absolutely nuts with the hours. Okay, let's take a look. Now, I don't know if this will work, but as you can see, we've got some support with Belgium. Uh, I'd like to see if maybe we can work with them. Who knows? Maybe they're willing to provide some sort of economic support. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I want to see what their diplomatic influence is. Okay, so they actually get a lot of diplomatic influence from the states. Uh, this certainly suggests that they might be willing to work with us. Of course, you're going to have to wait till next Let's Play, guys, to discover whether or not we go and work with the Belgians. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and do some open field farms in this region uh, and really try to improve the country little by little. But we are going to try to make this an amazing nation. We're at least going to try to improve it from what it is now because currently Liberia is a pretty awful place to live, let's be perfectly honest. Um, we're still researching oil drilling, which is absolutely awesome. And let's take a look at our projects here. Fishery is also being built. So hopefully, little by little, we can improve this awesome, awesome nation. Uh, I want to take a look. Damn, where is that stupid key? Um, at our government panel. And it has been a while since I've played the game. That's our political panel. We don't need that. This is our government, but this is not the correct one. Ah, here we go. Sorry, guys. Economy, nationalities, government programs, empire. 
There we go. So we are a constitutional republic. Your government support is only 15%. That's really bad. Um, but we need to keep working. Now, obviously, we have no trade agreements with anybody. We really need to improve that. I was pretty sure we had trade agreements with the U.S., but I guess we don't. So that's something we want to work on for sure um, and uh, possibly improve in the future. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this particular Let's Play, and I certainly hope you'll support it in the future. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, and we can certainly continue this particular Let's Play or choose a new nation. But I really think this would be awesome. I'm going to go ahead and take a look here. doesn't look like we have anything that people need, although maybe we can sell a little bit of food on the market after we feed our people. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care, and glory to the glorious nation of Liberia.